today. Just an update on my purple trees. You can see they're growing really well in the background here and I'll show you some close-ups shortly. But my purple trees are doing really, really well. And once again, we're getting fruit. Um, beautiful, big, delicious, organically grown pawpaws. It's just the way to go, or papaya as you know them in the Americas. Um, I really believe that in an aquaponic system we need to be able to grow a bit more than just veggies. We really need to be able to grow fruit. So I've been experimenting with different fruit trees for quite a while and um, the pawpaw is really the best one. It grows so fantastically well. I've got a small citrus grove outside and I'll show you some of that as well. And I've just ordered some more trees from my favourite nursery just the other day. Um, I've ordered some more pawpaw, hello, believe it or not. Uh, some different varieties to try them. I've ordered some, um, some more lime trees, a fig tree, and a few other smaller trees that we're just going to give a try to in our fruit grove. So let's have a closer look and see how these pawpaw trees are going right now. Just look at the size of these little beauties. Aren't they fantastic? And you can see some more in the background there. They're shaping up just ever so nicely. And those beautiful flowers, you can see them there, all going to yield more and more pawpaws as time goes by. I just want to show you what this looks like, our, our grow bed that we've been growing these pawpaws in. This bed now is just approaching six years old and we've been growing pawpaws or papayas in it now for around about mm, three years, good three years now, and we've had some amazing results. These trees you can see in here, this group of trees, are all children trees of a larger tree that we had in here. Um, the way that worked was occasionally a, a resident possum would beat me to the fruit and make a bit of a mess of it so I'd bury it in the ground and uh, we've had some seedlings come up quite by surprise I must say and we've just saved a few of them, we pulled a lot of them out and threw them away, we didn't really know what would happen because these are hybrid trees we're not sure what would happen to them whether we'd get true fruit or not so we've got a really good result so let's look down here in the grow bed and we'll just show you what the gravel looks like you see we've had all this time for this gravel to be mature and the bed to be nice and mature and as you can see down here there is some a lot of roots and the roots of the pawpaw tree seem to keep it all in place actually and seem to keep it well separated and aerated we find there's not much rubbish at all in this bed even though it gets all the same amount of material delivered to it by the fish here we can see the water flowing into the corner of the grow bed we have just one single entry point this is coming in from the fish tank and at this end we have the auto siphon, the device that drains it every time the bed fills. So the bed fills and drains. Every time it fills up, the auto siphon kicks in, drains it out rapidly and then shuts off and the bed fills again. So we're always filling and draining, filling and draining on these pawpaw beds. It works really, really well. There's only one downside to growing pawpaw trees in a bed like this, and that is that the clear space in the bottom of the bed is really unusable for growing other plants because the pawpaws provide a canopy and cutting out direct sunlight. So we've tried on numerous occasions to grow lettuce and to grow cucumbers, tried all sorts of things, but the growth is really not very good. So that's the downside of growing pawpaws in your gravel grow beds. You can't grow anything underneath, not very well anyway. I want to show you a couple of pawpaw trees we've grown from seed. Um, of our original red pawpaw tree that did so well a few years back and luckily Kerry who works here for us kept some seed which was really smart of her and she planted some out and it was a few quite a few weeks later before we saw any result but the seeds have come up and we've got two beautiful pawpaw trees coming on here you can see look at that now they they were in little tiny seed pots and they've been there what about four weeks I think uh, that's about all and they're really starting to take off now so we're hoping we'll get a really good crop from these fellows as well And another couple of trees we've planted, we bought from the nursery on the 2nd of November. It's now about the 12th or 13th of March. So they are one, two, three, four, five months old. And you can see how well they're doing. Just look at this tree here. Beautiful, strong, and growing really tall. We've already had to put a string on it 
uh, to stop it from falling over because that's one of the problems with pawpaw trees even when they're grown out on the farm they tend to fall over because the weight of the fruit gets so heavy and these of course are being pushed out a bit because they're growing in amongst other pawpaw trees and some really large taro that we've got there and also a bird's eye chili bush which is tending to push them out a little bit that, but that's okay you can see the great pawpaws we're going to get from this see them all coming on beautiful absolutely beautiful just had a look at our new pawpaw trees and how well they're doing our little seedlings and now I want to show you how we power this entire system um, we have here a 2300 litre fish tank um, which has got about 60 jade perch in it that would be around about 100 to 150 grams each in size now we feed these fish twice a day because it's still quite warm weather here and we, each time we feed them 40 grams of food um, which gives them an 80 grams per day food input which is pretty good and as you can see the pawpaw trees are doing really well on that our fish are growing well and that's just something fantastic as winter is coming on now we need to think about heating our fish tanks and heating our grow beds so that we can maintain the good growth we've got but that's the subject of another blog post thanks